okay, I've changed tapes, and we're ready to resume play. This tape is probably going to take me up to world 6 or 7. The par time for the next segment is 104. Blazing Bazookas! This level has a few annoying parts, but overall it's not terrible. TNT Barrels! Okay, I need to get this to the... Thank you. Getting Squitter here and having them for the first half of the level is pretty key. He's actually required to get into this bonus level. Bonus levels! Steel Barrel Button! Hey, I think that's going to be my new catchphrase. Thanks, Thelass. Helicopter spin required. Good timing required. I believe good gameplay skill is also required to speedrun. Also, Logi Labyrinth. Logi Labyrinth is a fair level, right? This level ended my last run, because I did something so incredibly stupid, I don't even know if I want to talk about it again. Like, what I did was really stupid. I'll just put it this way, do not team throw in this place, it will get you nowhere. Gay squawks. Because he has to use barrels. Squawks is actually really useful in this bonus stage, though. This is hard to do without transforming first. 
Like, you guys have no idea how hard this is to do with just Diddy and Dix- er, excuse me, Dixie and Kitty. This is not DKC2. Don't get me wrong, this is still a fantastic game, it's just not as good as DKC2. Oh, speaking of DKC, what do you guys think of Donkey Kong Country Returns? Me? I think it's okay. I think it's... I think it's better than DKC1, but not better than 2 or 3. Like, I would definitely give the game a 9 out of 10. I think DKCR would have been a lot better if, uh, if Retro followed Rare's formula a little bit more closely. Don't get me wrong, the game's good, it just, it's just, it doesn't feel like DKC. And also, the, the, the game is ball-bustingly hard. I would, I would have to say it's one of the ten hardest games for the Wii. Like, just the, di the difficulty curve on the game is unbelievable. After the first world, the game just gets so hard. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be a chicken here. Shit. Well, that didn't work. That's a little better. That's still gonna sting, but... I get the feeling I should take the sparrow with me. I was right. Annoying jump button! Okay, this guy's really easy. Especially if you use Dixie. <laughs> as far as FF1 goes, I'm in the middle of my uh, final test run. Just trying to figure out where the trouble spots are, what the best strategy is. <coughs> Am I too much like H.C. Bailey when I LP? Because. I think I share too many things with H.C. Bailey's style that I just don't have my own. And I've been in the LP business for a while, so I should know. I should have my own style by now. Also, I have to give a major congratulations to Nintendo Capri Sun on just how much his channel has exploded. I still remember when I when I did my Let's Play of this game, I had more subscribers than he did. Of course, this was back when Jealous Guy was his main account. That was so long ago. That was over three years ago.
Turbo Ski. His latest and greatest boat yet. Ice World. This level's fun. Just getting into one of the bonuses can be a bitch. Not this one, the other one. This one's easy to get into. Yeah, the clasps here have a different AI script, which makes them not that much more annoying, but uh, I need to stop talking and start playing. I'm pretty sure the second bonus is after the star barrel, though. Yeah, it is. Love this track, by the way. I want to try to make it to the World 7 save point by the end of this video. Idiot Award! Why am I so bad at video games? Save point five. Par time is one oh four. Fifty nine minutes. We're still on pace. So what am I on right now? A two ten pace? <laughs> 